Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading, guys. I am here hanging with mega good vibes as usual, this saucy little beaver. So wherever you guys are at, I hope that you're chilling out and just as relaxed as she is. Uh, we're on to share some divine masculine messages, okay? So maybe the title of the reading is already resonating. Nonetheless, I do hope that the messages in the cards and the reading itself validates your own intuition, okay? So what that's going to mean is these are going to be things you guys have already been picking up on your twin flame journey okay and it's just that the reading happens to be a confirmation or a validation of some sort all right so let's go ahead and dive right in i will just gently shuffle the deck here trying not to be too loud near her ears <laughs> do you find it soothing hmm? Okay, guys, I'll rest it down here and I'll cut the deck in half and we'll see what the masculines want to communicate as their main message to the divine feminines. Okay, so your masculine wants you to know they're trying to get their money right. Okay, so right away I'm getting um, they're coming to you. I'm coming. Um, but this might be part of the distance right now. A lot of you may be in the same energy as their divine feminine counterpart. You could be very focused on money yourself, your own business, your own creative projects. Um, when the masculines are in this energy, I'm also getting that the separation is not very painful for you guys at this time. It's just, it is what it is. And right now is time for both of you to put some focus into your own lives, okay? Um, we also have healing family issues coming up, okay? And this could be part of trying to get their money right, okay? Many of your masculines could be trying to gain a lot of their independence. Um, it's something that maybe has a lot to do with healing family issues uh, in terms of being taught um, how to be a specific way or to be a certain way. Um, I'm also hearing, too, that many masculines are trying to heal the part of them that takes responsibility and accountability, Um just for for life itself okay um did you just push those out of my hand should we keep them you want to keep them hmm? um i feel too that like you know this could be a divine masculine who maybe has never had to hustle or work hard um they could have always had things handed to them um and now they may be learning some tough lessons in life where they have to be self-sufficient you know, as a masculine energy, they've got to, you know, get out there and be self-sufficient and independent. Um, and I feel like that's been, that's been affecting your connection the most because it's almost like this divine masculine ghosts and they, they, you know, they come and go because behind the scenes, what you guys may not know is that they don't really have it all together. Um, this might be a divine masculine who feels like it's easier to come close um, and then ghosts, they may not reveal a lot about themselves, what it is they're doing. They may not say a lot about their work, things like that. Um, but your presence in their life is definitely making them take a really good look at this area of their life, which I feel like for a divine masculine energy is really important. Um, and they never really used to put a lot of thought into it. Even if they did have money, I'm hearing because healing family issues is coming through. This could be mom and dad's money. This could be an inheritance, it could be family money, um, and I feel like a lot of your masculines are kind of, you know, sitting back and, and they may be looking at the way that you live, like you might be a very hardworking person, Divine Feminine, you could have your own business, um, you're very fruitful with ideas, you know how to create things, um, I'm getting like magician energy. Um, many of you could have many businesses that you run and I'm hearing that it's like you you do it very effortlessly you know what it's like to make money earn money um, you know do a hard day's work um, but I feel like some of your divine masculines they don't really know what that hustle is like you know it's like they can work but they might just get lazy and then just um, find it easier to go to mom and dad for more more money <laughs> is what I'm hearing so um, this could definitely be a person who is realizing that they've kind of they've got to venture off on their own you know many of you may be feeling like your connection is at a pause it's at a standstill um, if your masculines aren't feeling confident in this area um, there's not going to be a lot of you know sexy erotic vibes in the air um, when it comes to you to connecting right now and um, you know 
that has a lot to do with like their confidence if they're not feeling confident right now they could be like isolating again burying themselves in work because they feel like they may have some catching up to do okay um how, how do they feel in their heart space for you um knowing that they're just kind of off in their own world right now um because the twin flame connection it doesn't just go away um, even when you're in separation, even when you feel repulsed by the person, I feel like there's not a day that goes by that you don't think of your twin flame. It's just a natural thing. It's like they are their energy or spirit is is permanently um, present with you all the time. And so that's kind of what I want to dig into there is, um, you know, what is the masculine's higher self feeling for the divine feminine so behind all of the earthly and worldly <laughs> obstacles uh what is the true feeling inside of the masculine's heart all right so we have honeymoon um they could be fantasizing a lot about maybe taking you away um going on vacation maybe saving up save saving up enough of their own money to do things that are very special for you um you know get away take you away spend time alone with you let's see what this one says okay that passion card again allow your heart and soul to sing with joy the, this card here i think really depicts that feeling of this is someone who thinks about you every day even in the moments where you know, they may not be feeling as confident. They may not be feeling like they want to reach out. They could be really busy. I feel like whoever this divine feminine is, uh, you need to know that this masculine checks in on you every single day. Okay, sometimes things get too much in this area, but when they close their eyes at night or right before they drift off to sleep, um, you know, this kind of feeling comes over them. You know, why it is they're having all of these epiphanies um why it is they're paying attention now um at this stage in their life um to to certain things like getting their money right being a little bit more independent um having to stop depending on other people for things uh growing up in a sense maturing in a sense not always having to uh lean on others okay because a lot of you like your masculines may seem like they have it all together you know um but I'm hearing that for some of you, it's like you only see glimpses of them, right? Which is why it seems like they have it all put together. But I, I really do feel like behind the scenes, um, there's a lot of healing that's happening, okay? And if you guys can feel it, they're busy, they're MIA, um, you know, working hard. Some of your masculines could be working two jobs um, or they could be working one job where they will consistently seek out um, a lot of overtime just to kind of keep busy um, but that's what they're doing behind the scenes and they don't want you to know because at one point they were so well put together everything seemed like it was easy but I feel like behind the scenes they're working like a dog you know some of them again may be working two jobs um, it, they may be very exhausted very tired um, and that's the truth that's the truth behind it okay um, many of them too I feel are stepping uh, away or or I'm hearing the word stepping down um, from a particular lifestyle. Um, and I feel like they thought that this lifestyle was what they wanted. It looked good on the outside. But then they meet you and you're not really into that type of lifestyle at all. You know, into a lot of material things. Um, you know, going out there, being seen, being in big crowds. You might be a highly sensitive divine feminine energy. Um, where you prefer to be around things like, you know, nature and animals and, you know, a lot of your masculines are, I feel like they're stopping at this time to say like, like I'm sick of doing the same shit. I'm sick of spending money. I'm sick of being around people where it's like all you, all you got to do is spend money when you're around them. It's like everything has to be so lavish and materialized and um, again, when you're not spending your own money and you're trying to live this type of lifestyle um, and then you meet someone who you're attracted to and they're completely opposite from what it is you're you're used to but you can't help but feel that attraction to them and when you look at them and the way that they're living life I feel like a lot of your masculines see you as um, just very strong very strong and, and in turn you are opening up their eyes um, to, to balance 
it's either like balance um, the feminine energy in them so that way they can um, like get into this receiving energy of abundance um, like even with balance with the feminine energy with this particular masculine it's learning to have patience as well and that's why i feel like many of them are hitting it hard when it comes to just working right now because they are trying to not think about the hustle and bustle so much um, and just stay focused right now okay so what energy do we have coming out from the universe from this divine for this divine masculine what's your best advice from the universe divine masculine especially on this uh this path to trying to get your money right okay so we have don't relinquish your power okay so stay steady keep going um don't relinquish your power may have to do with healing family issues as well uh divine masculine because many of you may be wanting to go off on a certain path you might have people in your life who try to keep you dependent on them um and it's all for a sake of control okay so even if these are parental figures um, they may pay your way through life, yes, but um, they will also be in charge of making certain decisions in your life and you're never going to mature enough to experience full autonomy. So is there, there is this sense of like a healthy detachment that needs to take place with this divine masculine and the people um, that are around them because I think their eyes are starting to open up that they're like going in a loop, they're going in a circle, um, their life's not really going anywhere. Um, yes, they may have a lot of money, um they can, they have a lot of material things but it feels really empty and it feels really boring you know um and then again like i keep hearing and on top of that they they're not even spending their own money <laughs> uh, like i keep getting that it's like you know family money which is why i think family issues is coming up with this um so it's like no matter how much money they have or how well off they seem like they are, they're not feeling that way because they know they haven't earned it themselves, um, probably much like you have, Divine Feminine. Okay, let's get an outcome card here. Okay, so what kind of action can you expect this Divine Masculine to take when they're ready to come towards you? okay so we have the duo cups here okay and i feel like that goes hand in hand with this honeymoon card uh which is making a proper offer okay coming from a place of you know true power okay true authenticity and i keep hearing too like this is a divine masculine that's very grateful that you came into their life and taught them this lesson before it was too late Okay, because now I see them really contemplating a lot of major moves and, and life decisions that it's almost like, oh my gosh, I, I never, I've never had the autonomy to make my own decisions because now they're probably making their own money. They don't have to ask anybody for anything. They don't have to do what people say just because of, you know, people kind of paying their way through life. Um, and I feel like that's the key. That's what's been missing is, is autonomy and independence in order for this masculine to come towards who it is they truly desire um, without anybody having to say a word about it. This divine masculine is out to make that F you money. <laughs> that kind of, make that kind of money where you tell people F you. <laughs> um, you know, putting people in their rightful place, but learning a valuable lesson in life that, you know, you've got to be independent and you've got to be resourceful. Um, in order to call the shots in your own life, right? We have to stop being dependent on other people at some point during our um, young adult life and uh, venture off on our own path. And I feel like your presence in this life of uh, this divine masculine uh, feminine has made this realization occur. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you for today. Sorry, Maggie Lee dipped on us, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Maybe she's off on her own journey to gaining her own independence and autonomy, right? It's time to leave the nest. All right, anyways, guys, take it easy, and I will catch you in the next reading. Good night, guys.